Hey guys, it's Joey and welcome back to my channel. So today, <laughs> we talking about Black China and K. Michelle Child. K. Michelle has no time for it at all. Look, before we go in on the get in, because this is some funny stuff, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? I'm Jovi Beauty. I'm Jovi Beauty on all platforms, so please follow please like please subscribe don't forget to like this video like it now like it later just like the video bruh and hit that bell notification it's somewhere hit the bell notification it's right there all right it's somewhere hit the bell notification so you know whenever i drop a new video and now let's get on to this love and hip-hop black china k michelle shenanigans boy <laughs> Okay, guys, so last night on Love and Hip Hop, K. Michelle, listen, let me just start off by saying K. Michelle is always with the shits. She is always with the shits. And I, I, don't, I don't even know how I feel about her sometimes because she be speaking bare truths, you know? I don't know. She be speaking bare truths. It's just how she goes about it. And I, it's a Pisces thing, I guess. That's how they go about it. Sometimes they can be extra aggressive, and that's me being a Scorpio saying that. But apparently, Black China now... We all know she has her reality show, right? She has this reality show where she's showing her dysfunctional family. Whatever, whatever. She was supposed to be on Love & Hip Hop. She should have went on Love... I, whatever. Why Black China now want to be a singer? Black China want to be a singer. And K. Michelle is not for the shits at all. K. Michelle is basically saying... And honestly, is she, is she not say, saying bare facts? She's saying she worked very hard to be in this music industry. You know, this is not for you um, to get into music and, you know, that's their passion. It's kind of like, I guess, how, I, how some people feel about Cardi B. It's like music, a lot of the times with a lot of these artists, it's all about their passion. You know, music is the struggling artist. You know, it's all about the passion for them. They've been doing this forever. You know, it's they soul. It's not about, you know, oh, I can't get on on this way or, or this way or this way. So I'm going to want to be a singer. I want to be a rapper now. That's kind of what it is. That's kind of how it seems like. And it's kind of whack. I understand, I understand K. Michelle's annoyance by this and anger by it it's like okay so okay, okay michelle went a little extra but did she lie um talking about okay michelle said something along the lines of you can't you've been eh, 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 and that ain't been working out for you so now all of a sudden you want to be a singer i put my blood and my sweat and my tears into this and i like i said i feel her when you have a passion for something and you go hard for it and then somebody just come and they don't even have no talent they don't th this is just a fly by night stuff for them and you know they get to come on because she got millions of, of followers or whatever because she's black china and because she slobbed a few knobs that shit will piss you off because you put in the actual freaking work you know, so K. Michelle is mad. Hey, dog. Hey. Stop. Anybody want to see your butt? K. Michelle is mad. Get off the couch. Anybody want to see his butt? Um, K. Michelle is annoyed. She's not mad. She's annoyed. And you can't really blame her. You know, I know this is going to get a little extra. Black China is probably going to make a comment or whatever. But we don't really care how Black China feel about it because... Like, when you have a passion for something, like I previously said, and you work your ass off, and you're being freaking blacklisted and blackballed, but you could blow. Say what you want about K. Michelle. That bitch could sing, okay? And the heart and the passion and everything, yo, it comes out. That is that is what she does, you know? And Black China, like, I don't really know what she do. 
First she sends still skin care. She's a stripper. She sells skin care. She marries, you know, she, she having all these babies by guys just so she can get up, you know. And again, y'all know I love the fact that she pulled a Kardashian on a Kardashian. That was the bomb to me. But the rest of this stuff, I ain't mad. I ain't, I ain't mad at uh, K. Michelle for feeling the way she feeling. Like, this ain't a fly by night. It's your passion. Just like I said previously about people like Cardi B and them. It's like, bruh. It's not about the money. It shouldn't be. The money is an added bonus, you know, for when you are into the arts. You know, these people went to, these people been doing this since they was children. They been singing in choirs. They went to, they went to music schools, high schools and them. You know, this is what they wanted to do with their career, with their life. They didn't decide to get up on a pole and, and you know, have no goals in life. And then all of a sudden, oh, you know, everything else ain't working, so I guess I'll sing an or I'll rap. Like, nah, bruh. I feel her. I feel her. K. Michelle, I ain't mad at you, boo. And this love of hip-hop this season is apparently real juicy, real juicy, real juicy. We done seen Black China flip out on all her family members, on all her staff. Like, that is just a train wreck. I don't even... I don't even have anything to say about it. The only thing, like I said, the only thing that I really enjoy about Black China is her pulling a Kardashian on the Kardashians. The rest of that shit is for the birds, bruh. And I ain't mad at K. Michelle for saying what she says. And I'm done. And as always, I hope you live your life like it's golden because there's no other way to live it.